Good morning. Oh my god, I'm tired. But I slept like a baby. <sighs> I should just woke up. It's 9.49 on Monday. Today's actually bank holidays here in Korea, which I didn't know it's something like Labor Labor Day. So will be probably loads and loads of people which kind of explained because yesterday when i was taking taxi to my airbnb there were so many people out and like drinking like i can see like drunk people on the streets and i was a bit like like i know the drinking culture in korea is strong but even on sunday but obviously people are going to work today so that was why anyways i slept like a baby Honestly, the pillows, love the pillows. I think I, I would need to get some back home with their chef's kiss. And yeah, <laughs> I just forgot what I was about to say. Um, I'm going to show you the place. And then I'll go get some breakfast. I think I'm gonna go to convenience store again, just get a quick coffee, little bite, and then like today will be a really chill day because I wasn't sure like what time I will wake up and how I will feel, etc. So today it's easy, and then I think at four thirty. I think 4 30, my friend is picking me up, and we're gonna get like a proper, proper, proper Korean food which I'm so excited. I think we're gonna get barbecue or something. I don't know, I don't know, it will be a surprise. So I'm very excited. So yeah, let me show you the place. Okay, so this is the place. So here are the main door. And then here you have the first cabinet. So that's like all the cleaning products, umbrellas, etc., which is quite handy. I guess today when I came in, it was raining. Then here, so, oops, <laughs> I'm not drunk, I'm just stumbled. So here, this is kind of the typical for Korean houses, that you have this part when you leave your shoes and then you sweep to your uh, sandals or flip-flops or slides or whatever. Um, here, you have a bathroom. So I have to say, this bathroom is really nice and it's more like a European style because you have like a separate shower and there's like a little um, ledge because usually it's just like one uh, one level floor with a few drains and everything gets basically wet but I've been lucky so I have separate shower, obviously loo and then here's me and the sink. Then... Here is a fridge, so here's some eggs, randomly the water because you don't really drink the water from a tap in Korea and here's my leftover soju from last night because essentials. And then here I have a freezer and this is the kitchen bit, so again this is very typical for Korea. Korea doesn't really have ovens. Ovens are quite newish addition to a kitchens. So usually instead of the instead of the oven, you have the washing machine, obviously sink, then here cabinet with few pans and pots, and then here's some plates, glasses, silverware with the chopsticks. Da, da, da. Uh, then you have this uh, hob, induction hob, and here's the extractor. And now we are in the main part. So here I have a kettle for a coffee. This is for recycling, obviously microwave. I have to say, oh, I'm gonna say it a bit later. And then you have a little couch, little desk. Here you have like a proper desk where I can get ready. I believe this one you can, yeah, you can pull this one up to get like even more space if you have people over, etc. Big TV, there's two cabinets, which I think they are empty. And 
Here is the bed. As I said, the pillows are chef's kiss. Very, very hard mattress, which I'm not surprised. I can, that's kind of what I expected because the traditional way how Koreans been sleeping, it's been in hanoks and they had just like a basically thicker duvet on the floor because they have a heating in the floors. They didn't have, traditionally, they didn't have like a typical bed like us do. I don't know, so there's a clothing rack. No idea what the fuck that is. And can you open this? Oh, you can open this. So here's like extra heater, hoover, ironing board, I guess extra fan and uh, what's it called? Iron. That can iron my clothes and then finally hello big mirror which i'm happy because i don't have that at home and wardrobe which is just like this and then here that's the intercom if somebody's come in this is temperature and then somewhere should be as well um how to control the aircon i haven't figured out yet but yeah that's my little place so yeah that's the place i picked it's very very tiny i'm not gonna lie i think it looks a bit bigger on a camera because i use the wide lens to kind of show you properly but you know that's all i need essentially so i'm staying here almost two weeks i think 13 days i paid uh 430 pounds i believe or something like that with like all the fees cleaning fees etc so i think on airbnb the night was for like 99 pounds something like that so absolute bargain it's on the south of the han river in uh i don't want to butcher the name honestly so i'm gonna say i'm south of the river i think the closest subway station is guro which is actually two minutes out the door i'm gonna show you later on and i can obviously go more to the central but i was like what's the point to pay like 60 70 uh, quid a night for all the same place essentially when i can when i can have this for 30 and then i will take additional 40 minutes on the subway which i don't mind because i can at least read so yeah excited and let's get some breakfast now little adventure and I have two things first I felt very self-conscious I felt like everyone's looking at me and it wasn't just a feeling like I can see like when like the old ladies I think they call them horribodies here or whatever they've been passing through you can tell that the death stare I was like thanks fucking god I have sunglasses on and uh then in shops as well like I saw I fucking understand, you know, the basics, like how much is the money, do you need a bag, da -de da -de da Turns out, not really, so that's fun. And second thing, it's fucking hot, it's 16 degrees, which I was like, 16 degrees in like UK, I would be finding jeans and top, you know, maybe jacket. I'm sweating fucking buckets, so that would be a fun trip because i didn't pack for this so <laughs> wish me luck uh, let me show you what i got so i went to get the breakfast so i got water again ice and this uh ice caramel macchiato hopefully that would be good then i got a kimbap this is like the uh classic one with spam and kimchi and then the sausage as i had last night because it was absolutely delicious then i went to daiso I got like these exfoliating mitts because I do need those and then we'll see if I can decant my perfume because I don't want to carry it with me and also because I'm sweating I will sting so I need the perfume for sure and deodorant with me and then this is what I got in Olive Young so got this because I think my skin barrier is absolutely ruined and this is apparently the most recommended here in Korea so we'll try it. It's either gonna get worse or not. Let's see. 
then i got a sunscreen for my face this one again is highly recommended uh, the usual one is all blue this one is with the green mild up no idea really what that means i did translate all that uh seems all right so we'll see um then i got this uh foundation this cushion uh bare water cushion set apparently this one is the most popular at the moment and it's this big one plus a small one to take with me will that shade fit i try it i think it will be fine luckily korea cares for pale people so hopefully this one will be fine but god fucking knows and the last i got was this uh ink air velvet it's kind of like a lipstick like a tint so got that one with this like kind of nice nude uh, color and that was it and i think in uh olive young and spent about like 80 85 87 000 korean won which is not too bad now i'm just gonna enjoy the coffee the food and finish editing the vlog before i'm meeting my friends so so far pretty pretty good day Yesterday, I've been the worst vlogger ever, but I think it was a good thing because I met my friend for the first time. So I didn't want to be like constantly on the phone and taking pictures of everything and stuff. And I just, yeah, I just enjoyed the moment and getting to know someone. So I had a great time. We went to Han River. So we walk around the river. The view was beautiful, the weather was awesome. We can see this, uh, the sunset as well. Uh, well. We had a little drive around Seoul, so I saw different parts. I got like a little tour as well to tell me where is what. Uh, they went to Namsan Tower or N Tower. However, didn't go on the top because there's, uh, there's like an issue. So they're replacing, um, they're replacing uh, elevator. So the waiting was like an hour and a half. So instead we just got uh, food. So I had my first proper Korean experience in restaurant. I loved it. Like the food was incredible. We had uh, beef bibimbap, uh, seafood drawn, uh, that's the pancake. And we had some tofu and miso jjigae, which is kind of like soup with like mushrooms and chilies uh it was incredible the kimchi was delicious and then there was these fresh chili peppers which you dip in uh some junk i thought i would probably die i was like it would be probably spicy as well but no it was so fresh it was absolutely delicious so i really enjoyed that so that was my kind of like first proper meal and yeah absolutely loved it and then on the end we went to like a oh i can't remember the name but there was there's like this viewpoint on a mountain and you can literally see the whole soul in the night and it was just magical it was beautiful so and today i'm doing lotte world lotte tower and the aquarium and kind of walk around i found there's like a czech style uh like bakery shop which also serve beer so i'm like i'm very intrigued so i think i'm gonna check it out because why the hell not i had no idea there would be like anything check in seoul so very surprising and then later on i'm getting a uh, barbecue korean barbecue so so just to show you my little haul from convenience store i got this massive uh, <laughs> like sweet americano because i haven't slept that well i think i slept like three and a half hours for some reason i was up at five and couldn't fall asleep back and now it's almost eight o'clock so i was trying to get back to sleep obviously it didn't happen so i got massive uh, sweet americano 
that I got obviously the eyes for it. I got a uh, kimbap. This one is pork and chicken cutlet, which I was a bit intrigued, so we'll see. And then obviously got my meats on stick. That was, um, I didn't realize that when I bought it, was it yesterday or the day before? The day before. Um, they actually have like, if you buy two, you get a third for free. So I just kind of stuck up. And then I saw, I saw this tiramisu dessert, which looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to have that and that's going to be my breakfast. And then obviously I'm going to eat my lunch out. Mm. That's actually really nice. I usually, like yesterday I got the milky one, but this Americano, sweet Americano, delish. So that's going to definitely keep me up for a few hours and I got like a proper nice coffee or maybe matcha later on. But yeah, let's enjoy the breakfast and then we'll get ready and report. Oh, also, I was getting my uh, tea money card because I thought I did get I got the one with the SIM card, but I'm not hundred percent sure. I show it to my friend as well. And he's like, oh, I can work. Maybe not. Maybe it's better to get like a proper one. So I got it, and obviously I ask in Korean and everything. And the man was so sweet. He was like, put like different like uh colors and stuff i literally just took the basic one because i'm like i feel a bit embarrassed i don't know why i just feel embarrassed because like the people here are like so nice in shops and they starting to ask you probably like questions and stuff but obviously i can't understand shit so i just was like yeah that's the one paid it and run away so yeah but i'm loving it here loving it mm -hmm. 